Hi everyone, how are you? Hope you're having an amazing, amazing day and may peace be upon you. If you just give me a second, I'm going to very, very quickly add my friend, my beautiful friend Stephanie. Okay, hold on. Hi, Zenny. How are you? Hope you're well. Hi. So today we are going to be talking about confidence. Confidence. And today I'm going to be joined by my amazing, amazing friend who is a life coach, Stephanie. There she is. I'm going to very, very quickly give her a wave and then bring her on camera. Okay. At camera. Okay, so confidence. Why is it so important for us women to be confident? Not just in life, but in finances too. Hi, my beautiful hey. friend. How are How you? Are you? <laughs> really excited. Yeah, very, very, very on the moment call. together. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Hi, Zanny. Thanks for watching. Okay, Stephanie, today is going to be all about confidence. And I have my beautiful friend, Stephanie, who is a life coach. And my name is Isdi Haram, a family financial consultant. And I help women to release their money blocks and transform their money story. Stephanie, tell us a little bit about you and about what you do. Yeah, so I, uh, my name is Stephanie Denivlar. And I help mean to get confidence in order to have beautiful relations and really build their projects as they want. Awesome. So to be confident, to help women to be confident, to have a yeah. beauty, living the beautiful dreams and to be successful in the projects of their lives, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. To be awesome. Confident in and you live in, yes, yeah, so you live in beautiful France? Yeah. I am, yes, I am lucky to live here Fantastic. Yeah, since now. Yeah, yeah. And it's beautiful where you are. So, Stephanie, confidence is a big deal for men, for women, to anybody. Yeah. And it's the one yeah. thing that could really, you know, brings us down at any moment in life, in every second, just a moment. It's going to, if you don't have it, it's just going to be like done. So, why is yeah. having confidence so, so important, Stephanie? Confidence is important because if you don't have it, uh, you will not know mm -hmm. really uh, the potential, the power you have inside. If you don't know your power, mm -hmm. you will always uh, mm -hmm. wonder if you are doing well, if, if uh, what you mm. do is the good thing, uh, if you should do this mm -hmm. or not. And finally, mm -hmm. you will not dare to do what you want to do. So most of the time, you will align to, on people who have a mind about what should be done. Mm. So you will align mm -hmm. not on yourself, but on people around, because you will ask, mm. well, what is my value in this? Uh, what should I do or not? Right. And you will refer to people around, okay? And um, mm -hmm. if you align to people around, you will not align to yourself. And most of the time, mm -hmm. you will use, lose more and more your power because you, when you don't dare, after time and times, uh, of not daring, mm -hmm. you just um, get more and more in the doubt, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And so the vicious circle, as we call it, I don't know in English, but yes. uh, you yes. finish to not know even when you who you are exactly and uh, mm. what you want. And I meet many many yeah. women who have forgotten themselves for 30, 40 years. And at the end, they don't even remember their dreams, their re real dreams. They mm -hmm. do just know they are not well in their life, but they don't mm -hmm. know what they would like sometimes. Sometimes they know, yeah. but they think it's a dream. And it's a beautiful dream, but they don't see it in their <laughs> reality. They see it just in uh, something yeah. very far and just in a big bubble above. <laughs> Yeah, totally, totally. The vicious yeah. circle when you're like completely doubting yourself, the self-doubt that you're talking about again and again, when you make a choice, it would be always yeah. thinking, am I, did I do it the right thing or is it the wrong thing? And then like, you, you're so absolutely right when you're like, when you don't have the confidence, you keep on checking with other people. Am I doing it right? Am I doing, what do you think of this? What do you think? And then exactly. you truly, you truly forget to trust yourself, the gut, yes. the instinct, your value, your greatness, your power. So that, and then over time, 
do you see women losing themselves? Like they don't know who themselves. Do you see that happening? Yes, of course. That at the moment mm -hmm. they come because they have so many questions and they mm. don't know what to do. They are just mm -hmm. lost. And uh, sometimes they want to change. Yeah. Something. Well, they always want to change something, but sometimes they really yeah. don't know uh, what it comes from. Where is the mm -hmm. truth? Because they are looking for a truth, you mm. know, for something true about themselves. And searching is their authenticity because they lost it. They are mm. just you know, always things to something, but never creating mm -hmm. themselves. So the first work I do with them is yes. to know themselves, mm -hmm. to know their own values. What mm -hmm. do I want? What mm -hmm. do I like? What don't yes. I like? Um, and also their limits. So what mm. should not I let enter into mm -hmm. my life? And to what mm -hmm. uh, should I say no? And learn to say no. Because right. at, the, at the start, it's really difficult for them to say to just think i, mm. I can say no i can say uh, it's it's yeah. you are inside my my inner you know my inner uh, intimacy uh you know the the mm -hmm, place where mm -hmm. you, you yes you need to have your own space so um true so first they they learn that they have a, a place they have their mm -hmm. own place a secure place they are, a safe sorry? place for them Mm -hmm. Yes, a safe yeah. place for and, them, like their own little know. space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when they know their place, when they know mm -hmm. what is their main line, which is their mm -hmm. line, and not the other people's lines, because in any way, everybody has different lines. So when you mm -hmm. refer to one person, it will not be the same answer with another person. So you have really to align with yourself, True. and then you can create yes. your life according to, to what you have inside. And you can say mm -hmm. uh, yourself to other people what you think is good for you. And mm -hmm. you so that's so beautiful, Stephanie, because otherwise you keep on being drowned and drowned and drowned and drowned, yeah. either by society and or family or the people around you. And at one point you're suffocating. You couldn't breathe anymore. And like same thing with I, like what I do with my um, finances when I help women, the same thing. They don't know their limits. They don't have clarity. They don't yes. have a plan. They don't have a purpose. They don't know the numbers, what's going on in the numbers. It's like la-la land over there. Total la-la yes. land. So it's just bringing them back together. And when you say about bringing back them to their values, so their safe space, we got to identify what that space is first, right? Identify what that mm -hmm. space is and then help them move forward from there. Because like for me, Confident isn't just in one area, isn't just about, for me, my area is finances, so it isn't just about finances, uh, isn't just about um, relations, it isn't distinct, right? isn't just this or this, it's like in all areas of life. So what is the, the impact, the, the, like, the horrible impact that you see, and if you don't be confident within yourself, mm -hmm it affects the other areas of your life. Do you see that happening with your clients and the women that you've worked with? Yeah, the women I, I work with, it's mainly in what mm -hmm. they dare to do, create in their life, mm -hmm. what they think mm -hmm. is, is possible for them. And so it right. impacts their relation also mostly. So um, right. everything that is about um, mm -hmm. knowing what I want to create in my life, mm -hmm. it can be a project of uh, having a baby and being with a person who's mm. always the subject. Yes. It can be about uh, changing work, but I don't know what to do because I never yes. listened to myself and I just got diplomas because I, I was told I, I should have diplomas to yes, make a the right thing to and do. Now I'm mm -hmm. I'm anxious. I don't know why because everybody says I'm yeah. everything I have a husband I have a work I have mm -hmm. children I should be mm -hmm. happy but I'm not happy I feel True. bad so there, it comes from somewhere it's just mm. not I, I to be anxious today you know so it can be uh, yeah. mostly it's about relations because uh, these women mm -hmm. really um, when you are mm -hmm. not aligned with yourself when you are not mm -hmm. you meet mm -hmm. people who are aligned mm -hmm. with your non-alignment so of yes. course you have <laughs> religions that are not aligned and yeah. if you are in a in a in an energy of lack an energy of i mm -hmm. i uh, my value is zero then you will find people yes. who believe that your value is zero so you mm -hmm. will have relations of 
you know, might need manipulative relations. Uh, it can be uh, mm -hmm. people who need them mm -hmm. to have confidence. So they mm -hmm. will... Uh, uh, they will benefit from your lack of confidence to feel confident themselves and feel strong. So exactly. you will have men who are really, yeah. you know, macho and uh, men who are really yeah. directed and show the woman what she should do and it's mm -hmm. for her mm -hmm. and it's be there to mm -hmm. protect her. But finally, it doesn't protect mm -hmm. her because protect somebody is to uplift somebody. It's to really, you exactly. know, let, let the person free to be more and more herself. So we'll have the yeah. which is very reducing reducting mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah that is absolutely crazy because like your self-worth what you mentioned the, the the worthiness and the value that you feel yourself if like if you have like very little value or worthiness or confidence in self, you not only you're going to attract certain kind of people but like in your finances if you feel that you don't have enough or you're not you don't you're not worthy to receive money guess what's gonna happen to their finances exactly. it's gonna be like no yes. money's not coming money comes in it's gonna go up it's not sticking it's going away it's being pulled you know so this yes. is just crazy and what do you see when people when women start to stand up for themselves knowing their self-worth what are the transformation that you see happening when they start to be confident, they start to be happy, <laughs> they start to be free, yeah. they start to laugh yeah. a little bit, they start to um, reward it's... themselves, right? So what do the, the transformation that you yeah. see happening as a result of that, of being confident? It's really amazing because in a few weeks mm -hmm. and then in a few mm -hmm. months, uh, we, yeah. I see the first the voice changing. They don't express mm. themselves the same way. Their yeah. eyes, their, the way they watch is different. Mm -hmm. they are, mm -hmm. Their posture changes. And yeah. from, from going to, I, uh, when, you know, I ask many questions because I don't want to influence them what we sh they should be. Sure. I just want them to do what they are inside. So yeah, the, I ask yeah, the science, questions. exactly. And then at the start, it's very often... Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you think? The answer <laughs> is this. Yeah. And I'm not there to say what I think because I think for myself, but not for them. So it's not uh, your with life. the work, yeah, it's their life. <laughs> see that, you know, uh, they they start really to change the focus from mm, what do you think of me nice. from what do I think uh, is good for me. Fantastic. So uh, after a few weeks, few months. I have mm -hmm. persons mm -hmm. in front of me who start just to come and, mm -hmm. hello, yes, oh, uh, I thought uh, maybe it would be good to do this and that. And, uh, yeah. uh, oh, I told uh, some person that uh, finally yeah. I would not agree with this because, uh, no, no, no. And mm -hmm. really everything changes. Their relations mm -hmm. change, of course, because they have, uh, mm -hmm. I, I teach them also to, to communicate, to communicate mm -hmm. clearly, you know. Yes. Sometimes we get people. Beautiful. Uh, uh, they guess what we think, yeah. and because we are a bit grumpy, mm -hmm. they should understand something is wrong. Mm -hmm. No, you communicate, you say mm -hmm. clearly, and you talk for yourself. Mm -hmm. Not being aggressive, but just talking for yourself. What I need is this. And mm -hmm. you, so you really mm -hmm. start to become the center of yourself. You co become to start mm -hmm. from the center for your, from your heart. So I have plenty of exercises True. also with visualization uh, with uh, increasing nice. the energy yeah. because we know now that energy is really a part of our body mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's mm -hmm. like a, a second well, everything is energy right <laughs> <laughs> uh, everything is yeah, energy yes yeah. yeah, so we work mm -hmm. I think that's amazing yeah. and I think so that's amazing amazing opportunities this is sometimes come and say oh, it's amazing because this week mm. we don't know what happened to me and i saw a friend mm -hmm. i didn't mm -hmm. see before we, last time it, i was 10 year old I said something that mm -hmm. realized that and it seemed just messages when, from the universe when you open yourself mm -hmm. when you open your mm -hmm. heart really what you are inside yes. your authenticity mm -hmm. and when you um uplift the vibrations then you you open mm -hmm. the doors to abundance abundance in any yes. any any domain 
absolute abundance and what's possible and definitely is and not just in life and relationship but i see um the women that i work with when they have got clarity when they've got confidence their life their business starts to flourish abundance they're yeah. happier they're getting clients you know money's flowing in i think that's amazing so stephanie what is your coming we're coming to the end so what is your number one advice to all the women out there for them to be mm. confident what is your number one advice know yourself know uh, yourself by any mean by any mean know mm -hmm. what is inside listen to what is inside mm -hmm. instead mm -hmm. of just closing it and listen everybody around mm. Listen to all the negative mm -hmm. uh, signs. Mm -hmm. So also surround mm -hmm. yourself with people who uh, mm -hmm. make you feel yourself, who encourage you, you to be more and more yourself and who take you, you know, to, from down to up and not the other way around. And mm -hmm. uh, people who are good for you, you will feel it in your heart. If you feel okay. good with them, if you feel yourself naturally, True. it will be great. And True. just... A third thing, believe, believe that the power, the potential, everything is inside you and you have just blocks that keep you from seeing, mm -hmm. feeling and trusting it. Mm -hmm. So just start by trusting, mm -hmm. having faith that you have everything inside right. and find a ways to, awesome. to, to find that. it. But it, after that, it's just, wow, just amazing. Yeah. It is amazing, amazing, and definitely I completely 100% with you in the sense that always trust yourself no matter what and trust your instinct, trust your gut. Yes, you have blocks, you have relationship blocks, you have money blocks due to the conditioning, whatever it is that happening, but that is solvable. Main thing is yeah. that you got to trust exactly. yourself. That's why people like Stephanie yeah. and myself exist to help you to release the blocks and transform your story. Okay, everyone. Hi, Savita. Hi, Axel. Thank you very much for watching. And it's been fantastic. And you have any questions or any queries? First of all, if you're watching us live, press one. And come on, Savita, press one. I know you're there. And Axel, press one if you're there. If you are watching us on the replay, click in two. Okay, so that we can catch up with you afterwards. If you have any questions or any queries, feel free to reach out to Stephanie or myself, okay? We are here to help you and to support you. Don't be in a space of pain and suffering on your own because you're the one who's going to be at the losing end. All right, everyone, we will speak to you soon. And may peace be upon you and have a fantastic day. Thank you so much, Stephanie. It's been so fun and I love it Thank that you. we're doing yeah. this together to help women. Bye-bye. Yeah. Very, very great moment. Bye-bye.